This nice lady has a history of migraine headache. She has six or a few more uh, headaches per year. She treats them with sumatriptan. A year and a half ago, she was admitted to the hospital with a hemiplegic migraine. Mm -hmm. um, shortly after, uh, she started having episodes of intense nausea with vomiting. No not vomiting. associated. No vomiting, just. Oh, just intense nausea. Yes. Um, and, and gagging. And gagging. And these lasted for 10 minutes at or a so. time and occurred several times a day. Yes. Uh, that's a lot of episodes. Uh, Tell me. So they were incapacitating. And they went on for a year <coughs> and a half. Uh, she was taking a verapamil, uh, 180 milligrams. 120 milligrams. 120. For the hemiplegic migraine. And, and that was preventing you from having any other episodes. That's correct. Well, we uh, uh, saw her and there was no associated dizziness and thought that this, these episodes of abdominal distress were uh, possibly a migraine manifestation. To check on that, we increased the verapamil that she was taking uh, from- 120 in the morning to 180 milligrams at night. Yeah, so we added a, a nighttime dose. Yes. And you've had a near complete elimination of symptoms. Yes. Now you only have one episode a day that lasts just a few seconds. Yeah, just a few seconds. That's a dramatic improvement. So this is um, an unusual manifestation of abdominal migraine. Uh, I'm sure there are other patients out there who have similar symptoms. And um, we're happy for your improvement. And thank you for sharing your story. I would have never known that the nausea was migraine related. Evidently, this is, uh, nausea is very common but it's less common when it occurs as an isolated incident without a headache at the same time. Okay. But a lot of people who get a migraine headache get nausea at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you were having the nausea without the headache. Right. Very <laughs> interesting. Well, thanks again. You're welcome.